Daniel Peplo TV going live in three, two, one, and on air. Hello, I'm Dan Peplo reporting for DP, DP TV, and with me I have Jake Curran, the founder and owner of the rare African chinchilla snake and the candle. Hello, Jake. Hiya, Facebook. How are you? Are you all right, are you? I'm good, thank you. Fantastic. Can I do a shout out to all my Facebook friends? Yes, you can. Hi, guys, on Facebook. I've got my friends. That's my show. Okay. So what can you tell us about the rare African chinchilla snake? Well, Dan, I just want to know what you want to know about the rare African chinchilla snake. Well, is it a threat to society at all? Yeah, it's a big threat. Okay, any particular reason why? It wouldn't set a lamppost. Okay. okay, any particular reason why at all? It likes eating metal things. Okay, isn't it's it... Mad. Okay, isn't it's it... Ma- here, right here with me now. And that's your rare African chinchilla snake? Yeah. Seeing it in the flesh. You're a ferocious animal, aren't you? Come here. So what, that one to knock a cup over? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I was just talking. It's more about African chinchilla snake. It's the snake that actually defeated and killed Lord Voldemort at Facebook. He actually killed Lord Voldemort. So I don't care what the fuck Dumbledore says to you, this guy killed fucking... Voldemort, mate. So, this was starred in the Harry Potter film, then, was it? The rare African chinchilla snake? Well, no, Dumbledore just it took his place, right? So, uh, my African chinchilla snake, his name's... Has... Mm, I was just about to say, has it got a name at all? Yeah, his name's Rob. <laughs> Rob? Yeah. Fantastic I mean, name. Rob's a stupid name. No, Rob's an awesome name. Rob's a good name, Rob. I'll be careful. He might eat you. It is getting pretty close. Can you control him, please? I don't want him... Yeah, I've got one arm. About that, what happened to your arm, may I ask? I fell over a rock. Any, how did that happen? How did you fall over a rock? Walking to get rare African chinchilla snake food and I fell over a rock. They sell rare African chinchilla snake food? Yeah. Where? There's one every four blocks, it's called a lamppost. <coughs> so you was going to get a lamppost? <laughs> <laughs> so you was going to get a lamppost then? I'm just looking at your forehead. So you was getting to get a lamppost then? No, basically I've got to take him on a lead. He has a lead, does he? No, a light and I don't know why. But basically, I've got to take him to every lamppost. Right. When the lamppost comes along, he just eats it. And what do the community say about this? They say, fuck all, would you mess with a rare African chicken snake? No, I would not. No, I but then again, know. I'm not the community. So, I mean, have you had any hate mail come through at all? Have you had any death threats, anything like that? Only, like, uh, nine. So, you've had no death threats, you've had nothing like that? No. So, everybody is happy with your animal that you have discovered? Yeah. They all love it, do they? Yeah. And how many of these animals exist in the world? I've got six. You've got six? Yeah. Where did you find them all at? A pet shop. No, you didn't. Did. They're rare African chinchilla snakes. Common in most pet shops. <laughs> what, what pet shop did you get it from? Are you talking about the invisible rare African chinchilla snake? Yes, I am. Uh, right, it's a, uh, I was going to Tesco on my unicycle and I fell over, banged my head in the curb and saw it running around in circles in my head. In your head? Yeah. And was it there in real life? I had pie. Was it there in real life? Yeah, of course it was. I bought it when I bought it at home. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fantastic. Do you like Tesco? Yes, I like Tesco's. Do you like Tesco's? Nah, I fell off my bike there. You lost. You fell off your bike there, did you? Fucking no, what the fuck's that? Is, is no. that another rare African chinchilla snake? Yes, it is. Should we have a look? No. No. No? I said no. Okay. I'll get my snake on you. Okay, please don't. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. I mean, um. Go on. That's uh, what you were saying. Uh, Your shit interview of a word. <laughs> How many have you had? Have you had a lot of interviews? I mean, how is celebrity life? It's shit. Why? Because. Why? Because. Elaborate. Because I'm not even a celebrity. You are a celebrity. No. Why aren't you? Because I want to be famous. You are famous. I found a snake. I'm not Hollywood. But I got told that you're going to be doing a film with your rare African chinchilla snake. A spin-off from Harry Potter. No. No? Is that a lie, is it? Yeah. 
Are you lying? No. Okay. So I have you bought out a book? Happened? Have you bought out a book anytime soon at all? Are you are you planning on bringing out a book? No, I'm not. No. So is there any? No. The way African ginseng. So is there anything else that you can add to this interview at all? Anything else you want to say? Uh. I just want the girls, just to let you know, the girls. Uh, for all of you that think I'm beautiful, I really am beautiful. I'm just going for a tough time right now. Okay, my uh, my oldest fox died a couple of weeks ago. How old was your oldest fox? Eight hundred fourteen years old. Okay, and what did it die of? Wow, you never believe this, but it got hit by a fucking boomerang. <laughs> Swear to God, never believe it. Got hit by a fucking boomerang. Oh. Didn't they wear African ginger snake? Rob. I did call him Rob earlier, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> okay, so is there anything else that you want to say at all, no? No. Is that the end of the interview then? It is. Okay. Well, I've been Dan Papler, reporting live for DPTV. Uh, have fun, America. Bye.